Just to let you know, the Andover result was announced here first. So if you want the best for local news, stay tuned to We're Just News Online. We'll have all the latest as it breaks coming to you directly. We're going to go over to one of our outside broadcasts right now. David Cameron's constituency of Whitney. We can see now the door to the leisure centre where the count in Whitney is taking place. And here's David Cameron now, uh, joined by his wife, Samantha. He is MP for Whitney. It's not a surprise. Uh, it was well regarded done, as a safe seat. Well He's looking very happy indeed. Putting his wife there, Samantha, into the car. It was, um, it was an expected win for David Cameron. We'll have to wait and see until tomorrow whether he is Prime Minister as well. That's David Cameron there leaving the count in Whitney, his own constituents. Steve Pine here. Um, just hours to the final count now, Steve. How are you feeling? Did you say hours? I have been saying hours. <laughs> so do we. Um, so, George Young, um, thank you very much for joining us and congratulations. Um, it's your fourth victory in a row. My team worked very hard. I think we delivered more bits of literature, we did more canvassing, we were out and about on the ground. And uh, there was no complacency at all. Absolutely not. I've never taken any vote for granted. So our reporters have been going out and finding out just how much of an issue fair trade is in the general election. Fairtrade is a major movement which seeks to guarantee fair trading for farmers in anyway, developing let's have a little chat about fair trade here at the University of Winchester. It's always something that's, that's going to play a big part in our, in our culture and, and I think it's, you know, it's something that needs to be addressed by, by all the parties. Essential in yeah. helping uh, second and third world countries mm. get on their feet, help them develop. Right, let's cut over to Tom Otretsky. We've got a little bit more breaking news. What have you got for us? The seat of Carlisle, which has been a Labour stronghold since 1964, that's 46 years of Labour dominance, has just been broken by the Conservatives. Absolutely Conservative with 142 seats, Labour with 116, Liberal Democrats on 23, with plenty still left to come. Do not go anywhere else.